is a young party. It will be when they're in the last five or six months or seven months. Okay? And they are doing well. Better than expected. <laughs> See, uh, you, you will need to be a novice, a greenhorn, a neophyte in the politicking of Nigeria to even take some of these things seriously. You, you are carried away by everything anybody says and all that. Do you know that people are paid in this country to dissipate the the strength, the, the, the vigor, the, the, the understanding, the power, the prowess of the people. People are paid to go and dissipate it. They say, go and talk. People are paid to go to interviews, to go and analyze and say, this person cannot win this region. That is what they are doing. Whereas the people that pay them also come out one way or the other to, do it to also make some remarks. The idea is to ensure that we are put into... And then I hear people, I, I get DMs and people say, oh, the Labour Party is not doing... I agree that the Labour Party needs to do more, but Peter B is not doing enough. Uh, we are not going to win this election. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth! This is what they want you to feel. That's what has led to voter party in this country. Continually putting you at the point of feeling like you cannot do it. The same people that said well, the man went to a party without structure. Did you just hear Kiyamu? That has Jesus Kiyamu. A leading spokesman in the Tinubu um, Kape, um, Committee or team. A minister of the Federal Republic. Somebody that is, that is well aware of the politics of this country. Say we are doing great. What else do you want to hear? That's enough! There are areas that need to be covered. But keep quiet, sir, and let's pursue the results. Forget all this. Thing. And that's why I'm not moved by all this endorsement here and there. I've said it before. I have a different ideology about the politics of the country. I've sat, I've understood, I've studied, and I have my, my personal understanding by a lot of these things. Forget about who endorses. If you are carried away by those that endorse, you will also be carried away by those that do not endorse. That's it. That's, that's the way to it. A person doesn't endorse. Thank God for him. If we can doesn't endorse, thank God for him. Because they, they that are against us are few compared to those of us. I'm not even saying those for us, those of us. How many governors do we have in this country? Just 36. And there's a federal, federal capital territory minister. Let's add them together as 37. How many ex president and ex head, head of state do we have? How many political? They are not, I'm not sure we even have to have a million political politicians, so to speak, in this country. And we have over 200 million Nigerians. So you see the problem? We are allowing a few persons to decide what happens to the rest of us. It is time with me to tell them it's okay. Thank God for Lucio Gobasi doing does it. Thank God if Governor Tom does it. Thank God for if Baba. But we are ready this time to say we want to own our country. We are tired of these stories of who is in your camp, who is not. You see, a lot of you are even being told. I have friends that have relocated their polling units to their villages. You'll be shocked. You don't want us to be talking because we want to let's talk. Do you know how many Nigerians are still living in the city? They have relocated from their room, from their room. They have relocated. Do you know where I'm voting for? Are you aware? Do you know where I'm voting for? So you think I need to go and announce I'm going to be polling agents for my party? Don't worry. Go on. Let's just tell him I said the truth. Let's let's stop all this. Is. February will be a lesson, a lesson note for a lot, a lot of these politicians. Let's begin to talk now. You want us to be talking? Let's talk. That time has passed. We are not scared. We want to own this country. That's the point. We want to own Nigeria. So we are look, we are looking you straight. I'm telling you, Adam Sushumele. I don't have continually said this. Adam Sushumele has one of the finest houses in this country. Go to his country, his country home, and see his house. How you that is defending the Bola Metinubu publicly? What do you have? What can you what can you say you have you have benefited from this country? You don't. A lot of these guys have visa, multiple visa, diplomatic passports. They have got connections. Adam Sosomole married the foreign away was governor of Edo State. All of them, but you cannot even feed, you cannot eat, but you are on social media the one telling us that we oh, obedient, we are stupid, you are not going anywhere. What how, how is your life better than mine? Don't worry, we are going to teach all of you a lesson. Watch this video. I have a few videos to show to you. Watch it. I share it. I'm not, see, this time is the time to we are consolidating on the project. There is a new Nigeria coming. Feel like don't 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 believe it. On the red door at your peril. <laughs> Watch this video and share this video. Let it get to them. And we are not making. We are not joking. We are serious about the project of Nigeria. Those that endorse, let them are welcome. Those that refuse to endorse, they are also welcome. We will teach everybody lessons at the point. Goodbye. The world surprise that every effort frenetic effort is made to bring some of these characters on television to always say that p2b will not win if p2b does not win will he die you see is it a family issue if he cannot win then let him go Just who knows who says that the other parties or the other candidates will necessarily win but the truth of the matter is that the war is psychological very very psychological and unfortunately, those who are involved in psychological war, 
are not versed in psychology, both as a discipline and its practice. Because we know that it is only the man who has the ball that is tackled in a football tournament. Mm. And the tackle becomes very vicious if the price is very, very high. Those people who don't understand should watch the Qatar activities, the World Cup. The point we are making, when you hear it will be this, it will be that, it will be this, it is a blessing. It is a blessing in disguise. One, it will be having bereft and exorcised of all the spiritual and the ghostly content of those people who have held Southeast down. And those who have become themselves an attachment to the so-called albatross that also have held Nigeria down. So, on that strength, they are out. It will be then comes in a puristic sense. So, people say, hey, but he was in PDP. Hey, he came from Abga. Would he have come from the moon? When you are a leader, and when you were a follower, the difference is clear. Because the view of the road differs when you are on the steering as driver than when you are on, on, on the side as passenger. Because you know, I thought to look and say there's a mask red on the side, which have been seen by the driver from a distance, but he cares less because he has a direction. Pitobi has shown that his interest is to deliver this country from these unproductive elements who are interested in wasting our assets in the same way they have wasted their lives. Now, to deal with the more specific case of the other rulers of Nigeria, this, as you have said, is a painful situation in which we have found ourselves, where we aggregate the ownership of a country to persons. But the beauty of the OB candidacy is that if Nigerians are to ever become, if Obi will win, Nigerians would have to have become citizens. They would have to have taken ownership of their country. It cannot be handed to Obi by some owners of Nigeria. It will take Nigerians, the youth, those for, to whom tomorrow belongs. Me, they told me all these years, they are the leaders of tomorrow. I'm going to be 55 this year. I'm not the leader of anything. There is nothing to lead. It's already been ruined, almost beyond redemption. So it is those for, to whom tomorrow belongs, those in their 20s, 30s, perhaps early 40s, they have to consider this coming election as the opportunity to take their country back, make it their own. The world has become a global village. And they don't want to continue living like this they cannot continue to outsource the ownership of their motherland to those who are now in their 80s. I'm not even sure, Baba Obama might even be in his 90s, if the truth be told. And then we are now waiting. They can't be the ones who tell us what to do. They might tell us the truth and we deduce those truths from our own experiences. They can point in the direction to us and our facts and realities should tell us when they are telling us the truth. So whatever any other owner of Nigeria might care to say, whether they agree with General Obasanjo or they disagree with him, we are the ones who have to agree with the evidences of our senses and do the right thing in the coming election.